uh, in custody for the next 18 months. This is the time that prosecutors need to build a case, the, uh, the case with the charges against hold it now Castillo and his lawyers were not present they uh, said there were no guarantees to attend this uh, virtual uh, um, hearing and they were not present but the judge went on for more than two hours uh, giving a lot of arguments of why his his verdict had been this he said among other things that Castillo uh, was not However, he was the highest ranking official in the country and that he should have protected law and order. He also said that the protests against President Dina Boluarte is a continuation of the coup d'etat uh, that uh, Castillo tried to perpetrate the, uh, one week ago. And he also, uh, he also said that Manuel López Obrador, the president of Mexico, had a uh, given, had said that he was going to give political asylum to uh, President Castillo so that he, uh, in fact, could flee the country. And that's why the judge decided that he had to stay in, um, in, in, in custody for the next 18 months. Um, and Mariana, just briefly, I mean, with Castillo now being detained for 18 months, are we likely to see much bigger protests on the street? It's hard to say, Darren, because I think that some people, in fact, uh, some people is certainly are followers and supporters of former President Castillo. They've been protesting outside of, uh, of uh, the prison where he's at. Some of the people we've uh, talked to on the street, some protesters saying that, yes, Castillo should be reinstated in office. But the majority of people we've been talking to are people that are angry at the status quo and the political uh, class. They want uh, the Congress to be closed. They want new general elections. Uh, President Dina Boluarte has said that she uh, will, uh, that she has sent a bill to Congress so that uh, general elections will be uh, uh, held uh, if Congress approves this uh, by the end of next year. Uh, but uh, uh, Castillo, uh, the reaction in the Capitol has been. I would say not as strong as one would uh, think in the South, as we have seen today, uh, four people dead, people trying to um, take over the airport in the city of Ayacucho, that's in the highlands, where the stronghold of, uh, of support of former President Castillo is in the south of the country. In Lima, we have seen some... Uh, People clashing just a little while ago, uh, police uh, throwing tear gas. There's been some arrests, some people that have been injured. And, uh, but in general, the country is still very in, a, in, in turmoil in many aspects. And, but there's been some people from the first place where we saw protests in the area of Andahuaylas, Apurimac, in the center of the country, who've come out last night in a protest wearing white t-shirts saying it's time to stop this, uh, these protests and we want peace in the country. So let's see what will happen in the, in the next few hours now that the decision over Castillo is, has been taken.